Good morning boys and girls, it's Miss Wilkinson. Um, I'm recording this video from home today. I hope you are all well. I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Monday. Um, it is Wednesday the 3rd of March and your learning objective today is to explore Kenning's poetry. Now Kenning's is a type of poetry that is um, a little bit like a riddle and you have to guess what the poem is all about. Um, it describes either a person or an object or an idea. Now, I'm going to read uh, two poems out to you and I want you to see if you can guess what these poems are about. So, this is the first one. A small squeaker, a tiny scuttler, a good sniffer, a nosy peeper, a cat escaper, a fast scrambler. This poem here describes a mouse. I'm going to read another one to see if you can get what this Kenning's poem is all about. So this time we've got a worm eater, a fast flyer, a noisy singer, a colourful tweeter, a nest maker, a seed eater. A little thing, what do you think that one's about? This one is close, it's all about a bird. Now I'm going to show you this morning um, how to write a Kenning's poem and I want you to have a go at home. Now, Kenning's poetry either has um, a noun and a noun or a noun and a verb in the line. So we're going to do today noun and a verb. I want you to pause just for a second, see if you can remind yourself what is a noun and what is a verb. So the, a noun is the name of something. And a verb is something that you can do, a doing word, an action. So I'm writing doing or action word. And I'm going to show you uh, how to create your own Kenning's poem. I'm going to write mine all about um, a dog. I'm going to start, it's just easier to start with the verbs. So I want you to pause for a moment and see how many words, how many action words you can come up with when you think about a dog. What does a dog do? Does it jump? Does it roar? Does it bark? Does it race? As many verbs as you can. Okay, I'm going to come up with, so when I think of a dog, I think of sniff. It's dog sniff. Uh, jump. Um, chase, dogs chase things, uh, they catch things, um, they race, oh and they chew, definitely chew. These are the verbs that I have chosen to describe a dog. What I want you to do now is see if you can come up with a name of something to match with a verb. So I'll do the first one for you. So, sniff. What does a dog sniff? Um, dog could sniff mud. I want you to have a little go now and see if you can come up with something that they jump, something that they chase, something that they catch, something that they race and something that they chew. So just pause now. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. So I'm gonna do jump. Um, fence, fence jumper. Chase, definitely a cat or a cat chaser. What do they catch? Ball. Um, they race people. I've seen dogs race people in the park, and they chew. Ah, slippers. 
Okay, so we have now our nouns and verbs all about a dog. And all we have to do to make it into a Kenning's poem is add a uh, onto. Oh, Chase has already got the E on there. Be careful of that. End of there. And we have created, race has already got the E there, to a uh, Kenning's poem. So our dog is a mud sniffer fence jumper, a cat chaser, a ball catcher, a people racer and a, chew a slipper chewer. Another thing that I want us to consider when we are writing our Kenning's poetry is the vocabulary that we are using. So I have got my thesaurus here. Children in school you can use uh, the ones that we have in class and children at home I will put a link into Teams um, that's a child friendly uh, website you can go on uh, to find some better vocabulary. So I am going to change the word chewer on here. I have used my dictionary. Remember, you're looking at your first and second letters up in the top here. So we've got CH there. We're looking for CHE, CHA. C-H-I, so I know C-H-E is in between. I'm just going to make my way down. There's chew there. It's a verb, as we know. And instead of chew, we can have eat, no, or munch. Uh, I quite like the word no, so it still means it's a synonym. It means the same as chew. I'm going to use the word... Noah instead of chewer. So we don't have to do that for everything, but I want to see if you can get some excellent vocabulary in your Kenning's poetry. I have written down some ideas for you. Uh, we've got a tiger, a cat, a teacher, a school, a plant, a mummy, a bird, a friend, a park, or a brother and sister that you could, uh, you might want to write your Kenning's poem about. You do not have to use one of these that I've given you. These are just examples. Uh, what I want want love for you to do is write a Kenning's poem using the same technique that I have. Your verbs down one side and your nouns on the other. Um, and I would love for you to send it into Teams. And what we will do is we will see if we can guess what your Kenning's poem is about. Bye everyone.